Welcome to Turn Writing Fear Around Podcast, simple methods to overcome fear and start writing again. I'm Elise Hittinger, and I'm the host for your journey to courage. This is episode 40, The Power Pond. Oh my gosh. Um, I went to a seminar a number of years ago, and it was called Wizard Camp. But the we did seven days of intense activities, and it was all about training us to handle situations that would come up. And one of the exercises has stayed with me ever since. And it was to embrace chaos in a way that think of a hurricane. When the hurricane's coming through, those winds just create chaos. And embrace the chaos. And then there's the eye of the storm which is complete calm. And then as the storm passes through, you get the chaos again. And what we did in this training was we stayed in the eye. We stayed in the calm, but we immersed ourselves in the chaos so that we could see what needed to be done during the chaos without all the emotion of panic. And for, for, for us writers that have fear, that's huge. To be able to be in the moment, whether your horse is bolting, bucking, rearing, or you're on the ground and the horse is just petrified and racing around you or whatever it is, Horses can provide us with chaos. And we can stay in the calm and deal with the situation without feeding into the panic. What happens if the horse is panicking and we're panicking is it's exponentially more panic. Because then not only is the horse looking at whatever it was panicking about in the first place, but you've added on your panic, and so the horse knows something's really wrong. And the same thing even with the horse bucking. I had a horse with kissing spine. She would buck and she would rear, just out of the blue. And I didn't know at the time that it was kissing spine. We've since fixed that. But I knew that it didn't last very long. And I knew that if I just rode the bucks and rode the rears and got her distracted from it, she'd come back into normal and we could continue. For a horse that bolts, I learned how to do a pulley rein. I don't like a one rein stop because there's so many times when you're gonna throw your horse off balance. Mud, single trail track, single track trail. <laughs> There's so many times you can't use a one rein stop. So I learned a pulley rein and that I have not had a problem with the horse bolting sense. But we can learn the techniques to deal with the chaos. They're all techniques that can be learned. And then we can stay centered in our calm. And one of the examples I like to use is think about a pond a very, very quiet, still pond. And you can see the moonlight reflecting in it. You can hear just the, the crickets around you. It's just beautiful, quiet evening. And then your mind starts to get some monkey chatter. And it throws a few rocks in the pond. And you can see that it ripples. But the pawn comes back to quiet and still. And that's the same thing we get to do. We get to be the pond. We get to stay in that calm, that quiet, even though life's throwing rocks in there, our horses are throwing rocks in there, 
we know that it will always come back to calm so we can stay in calm. So think about getting, getting stuff stirred up. Think about being in chaos. Find, find a chaotic situation. Uh, I mean, you could even go to a soccer game or a football game and there's so much chaos during the game and practice observing, practice being the calm in the middle of all that chaos. And what you'll find is you feel amazing afterwards, and then you can start practicing it with your horses. They can be chaotic. They can have windy days. My horses love to just run and buck, and I can just be calm, watch them, stay with them. And it's amazing how fast they will come back to calm. And they'll want to be with calm. It's easier than being chaotic. If you've enjoyed this, I'm now offering hypnotherapy sessions. And it really helps you, you know, nobody says it has to take us a lot of time to change. We can change in an instant. Everybody who's fallen off a horse and been afraid knows you can change in an instant. Well, guess what? You can change back to calm and not being afraid, change back to calm and courage in an instant. It doesn't have to take you years to get over it. And a hypnotherapy session really helps just to make that change without having to go through all the pain of time. So I'll drop a link below to my hypnotherapy calendar if you're interested in either hearing about it, I've got a short 15-minute session, or if you just want to jump in, you can sign up for your hypnotherapy session. And I've got a special for um, through the end of 2024, I'm running a special on them. So Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Be the calm, be the eye of the storm. See you guys.